Hi everyone, my name is Federica and I'm Miss Universe Indonesia 2019. So today we'll be answering questions that you've asked, perhaps about my advocacy and my birth certificate advocacy that I've been doing and other related questions. I'm not quite sure what they are, but I can't wait to get into this. So let's bring on the first question. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much, Alvin, for that question. You definitely gave me goosebumps hearing that. I think being Indonesia's first Miss Universe, it would definitely be a dream come true for the millions out there. But besides that, I think it goes deeper than that. Being Indonesia's first Miss Universe, it would mean that I would be able to raise um, importance of the current issues that Indonesia is currently facing and challenges my country is facing. And it would also allow me to show the world Indonesia's heritage and culture. And for my advocacy, I definitely think that it would give me a larger platform to speak on. Being Miss Universe, you're not a spokesperson for your country anymore. You're a spokesperson for the whole world. And my advocacy, which focuses on birth certificates, is an issue not that only doesn't happen in Indonesia, but it actually happens across the world. So yes, that would, if that answers the question for you. <laughs> I think my biggest fear was definitely not being able to contribute to society. That's always been a fear of mine as a child because I guess it's the way I was brought up. I think that it's very important not only to live and well, just live, but it's important to actually live and do something in this world. And that's one of my missions and goals that I want to do. So if I wasn't able to accomplish that, I think that would definitely be one of my biggest fears to have. Well, thank you, Bimo, but I definitely think it does because Indonesia, well, majority of its population is women. There's not much of a difference, but there still is a difference. If you have more people educated in your country, then you'll have a stronger workforce, so that would definitely affect the economy. So in my opinion, I definitely think that social media and the media in general has been running our beauty standards for a long time. I know that there are many girls out there that look up to models and influencers that they see online on social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and they see all these images of women being photoshopped and they expect that that's a reality, but in fact it's a facade. And it really affects their mental state and how they expect, well, how they think they should look like, what beauty standards are in this world. But they have to remember that that's an impossible beauty standard to reach. There's women, these women that they see online, models, actors, actresses, everything else. They're paid to look like that. They're paid to look good. And you have to remember that that is their job to look beautiful. That is their job to look what the media wants them to look like. So I guess you have to never compare yourself to what you see online because that's not the reality of the world. And you have to be comfortable in your own skin because you'll never be happy with yourself. I think that's an issue that affects my country, especially in Indonesia. So, in my opinion, I don't think we should educate only the children, but we should educate the parents as well. Because how can you convince someone who has never received an education themselves the importance of sending their child to school and not have them, let's say, drop out of school and work for them? Because they have a different mentality than us. You have to understand that they're living to live for today. They're not living to live for the future. And that's something we really need to focus on, is educating the parents, not just the children.
In my opinion, Indonesia is a part of the international community. And we have the obligation to help the international community. by, And we can do this by helping these refugees. These refugees aren't moving for because they want to move. They're moving because they need to. They're actually facing serious issues, such as war, crimes, hunger, poverty, rape, and other reasons. They're moving because they need to save their lives and their dignity. It's a serious issue that some people don't realize that it's not a choice, it's a must. And I believe that Indonesia has to look at their capacity to help. If we're capable, if we're able to talk to our citizens as well of how Indonesia is capable of helping these refugees, then we should definitely help them for a temporary home to flee. Well, I'm just gonna give you a quick story flashback on why I've chosen this advocacy and how I started. Because actually I started by joining an organization which focuses on children's well-being and education. But an issue that we often faced was when children had to do their examinations that a majority of them didn't have birth certificates. And this meant that they couldn't continue on with their education because they could not be, they could not sit in their exams. So we changed our focus and we also helped them with birth certificates. As Putri Indonesia, Miss Universe Indonesia, I was given a larger platform to use my voice for the people. And I realized that this issue is bigger than I thought especially in my country. Over 75 million people are unregistered, who don't have birth certificates. And this is a world issue as well, especially with children, because it affects them in many ways, including child protection, human security, child trafficking, children marriage, education, healthcare, the list can go on and on. And people don't understand the importance of it because the government doesn't exemplify how important it actually is. The government needs to educate these people about the importance of birth certificates and what they actually can do to their lives. A birth certificate is important because it's a basic human right. You're taking away the basic human rights of a child if you don't apply them for a birth certificate. So that is my big why that I'm doing it. <laughs> Well, definitely being Putri Indonesia, Miss Universe Indonesia, it's given me a voice through my platform to use to raise awareness of this. I've started my own campaign and movement, which is called Voiceless, a Voice for the Voiceless. You can follow it on Instagram. So actually, I've been doing a research survey where I've been visiting the shanties across Jakarta and questioning the people on the topic of birth certificates. So asking them what's the reason why they don't have it. In the future, I'll actually be bringing to government officials and ministers for the meetings we'll have to discuss about this issue and how we can, will hopefully, create a solution and plan to help the millions who are affected by this. Well, definitely social media helps by showing them what you do for society. For example, my advocacy, I make sure that I make an effort to show what I've done in my advocacy through my social media page and also through my advocacy social media page in order to hopefully inspire the youth to do the same because a little goes a long way and that's the way I've been raised. If you do one good deed a day, you'll be able to like, it's a key to the happy life, in my opinion. And I think by having this interview right now and by explaining to you what my advocacy is and by talking to you about social movements and so on, I hope that that inspires people because I am a spokesperson for my country and I hope that I do create change. Okay, so is that all the questions we have today? Okay. <laughs>
So I guess that means it's a wrap guys. Thank you so much for asking me all the questions and I'm so sorry for those who I didn't get the chance to answer but I hope in the future I can. And yeah, I'll see you soon in the future. Don't forget to follow my journey as Miss Universe Indonesia and to look at my Voice for the Voiceless page. And I can't wait to meet all the delegates this year at Asian Youth International Model United Nations. See you!